Good morning guys. Today we're going to use the uh, calculator, the RREF function on the calculator to solve systems of equations. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of uh, actual calculator steps, getting it keyed in and reading what the calculator tells you how to interpret that as your solution. So uh, to see, or as you see, to solve a system, first thing we need to do is rewrite each equation so that all the variables and constants are lined up. Uh, if we look in this first example, uh, you see how all the x's, the y's, the z's, they're not in columns as they should be. So the first thing you want to do is line those up. Once they're lined up, um, we'll write the system as an augmented matrix. That just really means dump all the variables and equal signs. Um, and you're left with just the numbers and the negatives when they're necessary. Uh, from there, we'll key the system into the calculator using the matrix edit function. Uh, remember, matrix size is the number of rows, or in this case, equations, then the number of columns. I'll walk you through all this so you can see it. Uh, then you're going to solve the system by going to matrix math and selecting RREF for that specific matrix you keyed in. The follow, follow, final column should be the solution, assuming that you get the identity matrix. So I'll explain what all this stuff means. So again, first thing we do is make sure we get all the X's, Y's, and Z's rearranged. So that's, you've got to um, just subtract and move things from side to side. So we subtract our X over, gives us negative X. Subtract the 17 to the other side, gives us negative 17. I need X, Y, and Z all on the same side. So if I add my X over, I get 4X, 2Y, plus Z, and then the 3 is by itself. Uh, on the last one, just subtract the 2z over, subtract the 12 over. Well, that should have been a minus 12 right here, uh, so we end up with positive 12 over here. So we have this final cleaned up system, and we can see that we're going to key it into the matrix, or when we do it as an augmented matrix, we're just dumping the variables. Negative 1x, 4x, 1x is our first column, our x column. 2y, 2y, 5y, 2, 2, 5, 3z, 1z, negative 2z, 3, 1, negative 2, negative 17, 3, and 12, negative 17, 3, and 12. So remember, this should have been a minus, so we could add it back over to get the positive 12, and we'll get this system right here. From there, we're going to key it into the matrix, or key it into the calculator, and I'll show you how to do that now. Switch programs. There it is. Okay. Got to get my graphing calculator, so I need to pull that up. All right, so to key into a matrix, first you turn the calculator on. And then right here, the X to the negative 1 above it where it says matrix, that's our matrix menu. So I'll hit second, matrix. I'm going to go over to edit because I want to edit this into the matrix. So hit my over arrow. And it doesn't matter if I pick A, B, C, D. It doesn't matter which matrix. I just always pick matrix A because it's right there first. So hit enter for matrix A. And here we need to put what size matrix we have. So remember, as I said, it's number of rows, then number of columns. So we have one, two, three rows. Enter. Four columns, one, two, three, four columns, so four, enter. And you can see they've set up our matrix for us. We just need to type in. So I'm going to type negative one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, negative 17. Oh, I have an error. That should be three. That should be two. And we'll double check all this when we, uh, before we go on further. Uh, four, two, one, enter, three, enter, one, enter, five, enter, negative two, enter, 12, enter. And I have no idea where my matrix went. Why did it kick me out? Okay, let's try this again. 3 by 4, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 17, 4, 2, 1, 3, 1, enter, 
5, enter, negative 12, enter, sorry, negative 2, enter, 12, enter. My on screen calculator is not wanting to cooperate. So again, check it. Negative 141 for the first column, 225, second column, 31, negative 2, negative 17, 3, and 12. So we just took the numbers, the coefficients, and the constants, and just typed them into a matrix. So after we matrix edit, we're going to second quit, so second mode, go back into matrix and go over to math now because we want to do math with this matrix we just put in and we're going to RREF really really easy way to find the answer that's what RREF stands for it actually stands for reduced row echelon form but we'll just remember it's the really really easy way to find the answer so we select RREF and then we have to tell it what to RREF anytime a calculator gives you open parentheses they're asking you what on well, we put this into matrix A, so I gotta go back into matrix and under names, select A. Okay, so before I hit enter, let me run you through that process one more time. Second matrix, edit. Three rows, four columns, key in all of our numbers. Second quit, second matrix math. R R E F Sorry. R R E F of second matrix A. Hit enter and we get this right here. Now before uh, in the slide before it said the last column is our answer, two zero negative five if the other columns produce the identity matrix. Identity matrix just means we have ones all along this diagonal and then zeros for all the other stuff. Remember how our variables were the first three columns in this one? Well, the first three columns should always look like this. Ones for the diagonal and zeros for all the other spaces. That tells us that 205 is, or 20 negative five is our solution. So we just solved all three of those equations at one time just by hitting this calculator function. Uh, let's look at another example. So let's say we have this system. 2x plus y equals 5 equals 0. Um, 5y plus 3z equals 17 plus 2x. And 6x plus 3z equals 16 plus 4y. Now as we remember, first step is to get the x's, y's, z's, and equals all lined up. So we're going to do that first. So I'm going to subtract my 5 over. There's my 5 subtracted over. Subtract my 2x over to the left. So negative 2x plus 5y plus 3z equals 17. So we're just doing some rearranging of the equation. Uh, subtract the 4y over. Subtract the 16 over. And we've got our system. Now we're ready to key it into the matrix. Now... My x's are 2, negative 2, 6, 2, negative 2, 6. My y's are 1, 5, negative 4, 1, 5, negative 4. My z's, notice this first equation didn't have a z, but I have to have something in the z column, so I'm going to put a 0 there. So it's 0, 3, 3, and then my constants, remember constants mean the stuff without variables, are negative 5, 17, and negative 16. So let's go back into second matrix edit. I'm just going to put this back in matrix A. Three rows, enter. Four columns, enter. And we just type it in. Two, one, zero, negative five, negative two, five, three, seventeen. I'm just typing the number and then hitting enter. Six, enter. Negative four, enter. Three, enter negative 16 enter let's double check it x's are 2 negative 2 6 y's are 1 5 negative 4 z's are 0 3 3 constants are negative 5 17 negative 16 so we matrix edited already now we'll quit second quit matrix math 
RREF of matrix A. Hit enter. Negative 3, 1, 2 because we got the 1, 1, 1 and the zeros in every other spot. So that should be our solution. So real quick, the steps. We second matrix edit. Number of rows by number of columns. Key in it, all our coefficients and our constants. Second quit. Second matrix math. Go to RREF. Hit enter. Second matrix A. Hit enter. Enter. And the last column is our answer. Now let's look at when the last column is not our answer in these next two examples. Now as you can see, I've got a couple of two variable systems. So they're smaller, but the process is going to be the same. So first thing we do is write them as a matrix. Oops, getting ahead of myself. So if I put these in as a matrix, second matrix, edit. These have two rows, three columns. See, two rows, three columns. Everything was already lined up, so I didn't have to do that step. Type them in, two, three, seven, four, six, three. Second quit. Second matrix, math, RREF. Second matrix A. And on this one, see how we didn't get one one for the diagonal and zeros for the other spots? We got this other gibberish on here. So I want you to look at that bottom line. And that bottom line is going to tell you what's going on. Remember, it was X's, then Y's, then what it equals was how we set it up. So this says zero X's plus zero Y's equals one. Well, is 0 ever equal to 1? Well, the answer is no. Since this bottom row is false, since 0 is never equal to 1, we say that the solution, the system has no solutions. Well, if we look at this next one, let's key it in real quick. Second matrix edit. Two rows, three columns. 2, 3, 7, 4, 6, 14. Second quit, second matrix math, RREF of second matrix A. This one produces a different bottom row. We still didn't get the 1, 1 for our diagonal like we wanted with zeros in the other spots. Um, instead, we got all zeros for the bottom row. Well, this says 0x plus 0y equals 0. Well, since 0 is always equal to 0, we would say that there are infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. So these are the special cases that come out um, that cause you to not have an answer. Uh, let me show you a quick one where of what the 2 by 3 should look like when it has an answer. Uh, so if we just make up some numbers, 2, 4... 10, um, 7, 8, and 3. doesn't matter. Because okay. remember, the solution that we're talking about is each of these is a line, and the solution is where the lines cross. So these lines will cross somewhere because they have different slopes. Uh, so second quit, second matrix, math, RREF, second matrix, A. So see how we get the 1, 1 for this diagonal and 0 for the other spots? That tells us that this last column is our answer. Um, if I hit math fraction, because I really wanted to know what it was, it's negative 17 thirds and 16 thirds. So there's your X, there's your Y. And that's how you read it. If X was the first column, the first number is X. If Y is the second column, then the second number is Y. So it's however you line them up to start out tells you how to read your answer. So this is one that's a 2 by 3 that would have an answer. So what you're looking for is if your left hand gives you the 1's for the left-handed diagonal and zeros for all other spots, the last column is your answer. If you don't get that, look at your bottom row. If it's all zeros equals a number, that's no solution. All zeros equals a zero, that's infinitely many solutions. And that's the three possible answers you can get. Um, for, from doing RREF on a system of equations. Uh, so those are the 
steps. That's the process how to solve a system of equations uh, using the RREF function on the calculator. And I will see you in class tomorrow, guys.